Good morning, friends. Welcome to Relatively Refined, a blog and YouTube channel where my sister and I hope to help you make your home and life more beautiful on a budget. This is what I'm waking up to this morning. We got a fresh coating of snow and then the sun came out and it's starting to melt. And this is very quintessential March in Vermont. So I just thought I'd give you a little mattering of what is going on here. Hi friends, this is Patty from Relatively Refined. And I thought today I would bring you a thrift haul that I have um, of some items that I have picked up over the last week or so. This is a couple of different trips to the thrift store, but I thought they were really interesting items and pretty, and I thought I would share them with you. So I'm gonna start with some glassware. It's caught my eye because it is has straight sides. It's um, nice and tall. The heft of it is incredible. And um, I knew it was special when I picked it up because it was very heavy. And it is Anchor Hawking. And a little bit about that company. It is uh, an American made company. It's out of Ohio. And I think it started around the turn of the century. It um, was named for, it was, originally it was the Hawking Glass Company, and it was along, named for the Hawking River in Ohio. And it uh, has a pretty successful, it was very successful through the turn of the century, right on through the mid-century. And I think you'll probably be familiar with like Fire King was a subsidiary of theirs. And because they were a glass company, they did really well because importing glass was not an easy thing to do. And then they kind of fell out of favor in the 80s when plastics became really popular and there was a lot of restructuring and reorganization. They are still in existence, but the heyday is kind of over. Um, but it's an interesting story. So it's an American company. It does have a distinct mark. Um, I, I could try to show you, but it's really tiny. This particular one has a square on the bottom with an anchor in it. Sometimes you'll see an anchor over an H, um, or sometimes it'll just say anchor hawking. So this pattern is called the tartan pattern. It is kind of like a plaid. It's just squares, checks. And I really like it because it has a very clean lines, which I'm drawn to. And I just absolutely love this. So this picture was $5 and the glasses were 50 cents each. So I can envision this in the summer with iced tea or ice water with lemon or with beautiful cut flowers like peonies or gladiolas um, or lilacs in it this spring. So I'm really, was really pleased to see this and I'm gonna be on the hunt for some more glasses in that tartan pattern, which actually is not being made, or maybe it's made, made under a different name, but I suspect these, this set is probably from maybe the 80s or 90s. These, this is just another, I picked up these two uh, glasses also at the thrift store. These are also anchor hawking in what's called the Wexford pattern, which has a lot of facets. And my sister Paula just hauled a butter dish in this. You'll, you'll see the butter dishes a lot. And um, it's a beautiful pattern. And I'm a sucker for anything with a pedestal base. So I will enjoy drinking juice or ice water or iced tea out of this uh, very much. It feels really good to the hand. It's nice and heavy. And it's just a beautiful piece. These were 25 cents each. The glassware at my thrift store was 50, but these were for some reason half off. And I'm showing you two. I actually picked up three of them, which again, my thrift store tends to have things in threes. I don't know why, but so I picked up three of them for 25 cents each and cleaned them up. And like I said, I really will enjoy using these. So that was it for my glasses. Then on to um, a really fun thing that I'm starting to collect, which is the uh, vintage false graph. 
and the particularly this heritage pattern and it's really fun to collect because you will see it piece by piece in thrift stores and that's exactly what I've been looking for this one I was really excited to find this covered dish at um, the thrift store it is really heavy you can probably see how thick the sides are this has the false graph um, stamp on the bottom this is a castle sometimes you'll see a stamp or black writing that'll say false graph but this has the raised or I guess embossed castle there there is not a mark on this it's in gorgeous shape it's nice and, and heavy and the lid is perfect now you'll this is not a tureen I have a couple of tureens this is not one because it doesn't have to cut out for a ladle so this is just a covered serving dish and this will go into my hutch with my other false graph pieces but I can envision this uh, on a dinner table with some mashed potatoes or a vegetable side or some sort of side dish in it and I absolutely love this I think this is great a great pickup and this was a dollar which I could not believe at the thrift store a dollar for this so this will go right into my hutch and I will enjoy that then I picked up this was a set of the um, heritage collection false craft heritage collection bowls you can tell by the creamy white color and the heft that these are nice vintage pieces I am piece by piece collecting the bowls I now have four I believe so I'll probably stop at six the other dish I picked up this one is older this is more vintage this has the castle insignia on the bottom I will show you again I don't know how good this is coming out but or where I'm even supposed to hold this there we go you can see the castle so but what I really liked about this was this one is really heavy I could tell it has a nice heft this almost feels like ironstone I talked to Paula we don't know what the original intent of this was I believe it's a soup dish it is shallow and wide so I don't know what else it would be used for I personally use this for pasta or salad but I think the intent is it's a soup dish a soup bowl and it is beautiful I love the style and size and this creamy white color is just gorgeous so I now have two of these soup bowls I have four of these bowls and I have several serving dishes so that is it for today's haul I am going to put a clip here at the end to show you a little pickup that I made for my sister Paula which I am going to pop in the mail you're not seeing it right here because I've already boxed it up and it's in my car ready to go to the post office friends I was so excited to see this vintage paper towel wax paper and aluminum foil holder at my thrift shop um, I got this for my sister Paula and have sent it to her because our grandparents our grandmothers each had ones very similar in their respective homes and I know Paula has been on the hunt for this for some time so I cannot wait to see how she uses it in her home I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see you in the next one give this video a thumbs up subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again soon bye